Hello, this is RJ Austria and I am your lecturer. To start with, I am happily married. My wife is happy and I am married. And we've been an uh, entrepreneur after our wedding. So she stopped full-time work and we started a uh, business with just $10 capital. Okay, It seems small. Here in the Philippines, it's equivalent to 500 peso. Okay, so we started our our business with that amount. We became entrepreneurs. Okay, in fact, I started with zero. Okay, so I remember my first client, May 10, 2019. He ordered an account of Spotify. So I contacted my supplier, he sent me an account, and then I transferred it to my client. Okay, and then I paid my supplier, so I spent zero because I already received the payment and then I get the, the product from my supplier. So that's how I started my entrepreneur business or we call it buy and sell or reselling. Okay, reselling products. So after that, he told me that I have a new, I have a better product for you to sell. Okay, this is VPN. Okay, so he told me to sell VPN. So I should sell the VPN. I don't know yet what is VPN. So I sold it and then I earned. And then from reseller, I became a sub admin, sub administration administrator until I. I gather funds, I gather funds until I became admin. Uh, it's administrator. It means uh, I'm a co-owner of the VPN. So from there on, uh, our our income doubled, tripled, 1,000x, 2,000x. It's doubling. And then from there, May, we reach our, our first investment, June, uh, August, August. Our first August, so we started in May, and then May, June, July, August. In August, we took a building, newly constructed building. So I took the first floor because the first floor is the only finished during that time. So I took the first floor, and I have a sub-admin who sold me a, a water refilling station. So I took the water refilling station, I bought it with a good price, and put it in the first floor. Okay, so I applied for the for the permits and all, and then it started operating. Okay, so that's August. Imagine from us who start who started staying in my sister's in law's place, who was a wet market. We stayed there with them with just four months from our entrepreneurship. We escaped that place. We were able to raise and to have our own place to pay our own rent. Our first rent is, let's say, 200, 240, $240. Okay, that is our first rent for the first floor. Okay, that's our monthly rent. Okay, so with that one, we continue earning and earning and earning. We planned, we, we, we strategize. I keep on studying. I spent most of my time studying how to grow our business. Okay? And then from that day, August, we went to Davao, my hometown, because I stayed in the place near my wife in Metro Manila, the capital of the Philippines. I went to Davao City, the hometown of our president. Rodrigo Duterte. So I went to Davao because my, my grandma is sick. So we went there in the hospital. Uh, we have a bonding with my relatives and they taught me how to be better in business. And then I get I got a new idea. I started a call center. Okay? Call center chat support. So when I went back here in Metro Manila, in our place, I started hiring. Okay, I started hiring call center agents. So we have three agents. We just hired three agents for a start. 
Okay, so I created the GC group chat for group chat for the 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 agents and then I have this app that we bought to the app to check their attendance, okay? And then they can time in, they can time out and it, it has auto screenshot. Okay, it has auto screenshot when using in laptop but in cell phone it cannot auto screenshot so i ask them to auto screenshot their screen every 10 minutes in that way i know that they're working okay so that's how it started so and our sales shoot up to our first time for the month we earned 2000 2000 2300 $2,300. Okay? And in the peso, it's equivalent to 115,000 pesos. Okay? So we earned by hiring three employees, paying them minimum. Okay? So we pay minimum daily wage. What is the minimum of their province? We pay them. So we don't meet them. We just send their salary via GCash. Okay? So that is our online banking and sending easy money here. So we send them money, we gave them salary. That's how we grew our business. Okay? So during that December, it's a seasonal because there's so many money during that time. Not No pandemic yet, right? So because I'm so happy with what my employees did, I, I asked, I provided, I I gave them ticket to Hong Kong. So me and my wife has a ticket to Hong Kong with my employees. Okay? We were so happy that we earned this much and we thought it will continue and continue. So we bought them a ticket. As long as you perform, you will be rewarded. Okay? So we are not, we give incentives. Okay? So we bought the plane ticket. I'll just show you the pictures beside me. So we bought those plane tickets and we, for, that's for our one year anniversary, okay? So we will be celebrating our one year anniversary this March 28th. That, 2020, March 28th. So you know what happened, right? Pandemic, lockdown started February 14th in our country. February 13th, February 13th, 2020. So when the lockdown started, we cannot leave the country. So we were not able to go to Hong Kong to enjoy our uh, our reward for ourselves when we work hard during December. So gradually, our sales moved lower and lower January. So we stopped hiring employees because we realized that it's a seasonal seasonal business. Okay, so our business was in season during December, so we hired. After December, no season, so we stop hiring, okay? So, that's how we started our business and growing. And from February, we got the second floor, okay? So, we got the second floor and then we, we have the second floor and then we put up an Airbnb, okay? So, that's our second business from, from VPN to water refilling station to airbnb business okay so we got that three 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 business right away okay from starting with that ten dollar capital okay so when i started the vpn i need to start with a uh, ten dollar capital so what happened next from there on the business kept growing i I discovered new ways to market the Airbnb and I started partnering with condominiums. Okay? I partner with condominiums. So if my units, and then I took another 2020, August of 2020, I took the third floor. Imagine, every three months, every four months, we have new business. Because we know what we, we target in life with my wife. Okay? We know what to do. That's why we keep on saving. We save a lot. We don't spend much. You don't see us any 
any jewelries in our body. What we have is a gaming computer for editing, for and then cell phones. We have we have the cell phones like S8, Samsung, S8 Plus, and then S9, S9. So we get the best phone for us. Okay, because our business is internet. Our business is online. Okay, so we sell it on Facebook. And then what happened next is uh, we, we got an internet connection at home, fiber connection, so that we can keep doing our businesses. Okay, so it grew, it grew. My Airbnb, I partnered with the condominiums. Uh, I have courses there. You can check other courses I have. And then it keeps up until that 2021 that we have a sales of total of 210,000. Imagine 210,000 peso. It's equivalent of 4,000. 4,000 dollar. Okay? It's equivalent of 4,000 dollar from all the businesses that we have started because of the entrepreneurship that we have learned. Okay? The fundamentals, the mindset that we need to have, we have gathered it all and then we started and started and started and keep starting business. Okay? But we did not, we did not give up our first business, the VPN, because it's the number one business that generated income for us. It's a money-making machine. Once you find that money-making machine business, then you can keep opening new businesses to try new things. Okay? As long as you have that money making machine business. Okay? So once we found it out, then we started expanding. Okay? But if you haven't found it yet, do not put right away your eggs in many baskets without having that one basket that you have protected so much, you have developed so much, and it grew stronger. Okay? So that's what we did. So we have travels like Baguio City, the tourist spots here in the Philippines. We've traveled since pandemic. We haven't traveled anymore. But that's the freedom we, we had. Okay? So that is the, the thing that we get from, from doing the entrepreneurship, being an entrepreneur. Okay? So uh, up to now, we started new things like this one, Udemy. So when... When we, we transferred location with a quiet place, so I decided to start this one, these courses. Okay, so I teach all what I learned and I want to share it to others so that they too can earn what they were what we were able to accomplish. Okay, so this one, we added this one, and then and then cryptocurrency. Okay, I started uh, studying cryptocurrency. And finding the best way to earn through cryptocurrency. I also have that kind of course. Okay? So, I'm just studying and studying and studying. That's why the my subtitle for my name is Husband of One Wife and a Businessman. Because all these are just businesses. Okay? And my wife. Okay? Because a family... No amount of success can compensate failure in the home. No matter how successful you are, but if you fail at home, then your success cannot be considered a success. Okay? So, that's what we'll be, we will be talking here. And I will be sharing to you the principles, the strategies that we did to double our finances. Because you know, Business is a double game. Money is a double game. From 500, from 500, how are you going to double it into 1,000? Okay? From 1,000, how are you going to double it to 2,000? Okay? So you find ways how to double your money. From 2,000, how are you going to double it to 4,000? From 4,000, how are you going to double it to 8,000? From 8,000, how are you going to double it to 16,000? Okay, so you keep on doubling. You always think, how can I double what I have now? Okay, so that's when you cannot reach 200,000 income 
with a 100,000 strategy. Okay? We we plateau our income plateau from 100, 150, 130, 160,000. We plateau from that range. But when I thought I got the new strategy of the Airbnb where I connect to units, to condominiums, I contacted them, I communicated them, and they allowed me to market their, their units. That's when new strategy comes new earning. Okay? So, we touched that $210,000 uh, peso. Okay? For here, in the, for here in the Philippines, you are considered rich once you reach the income level of 190,000 peso. 190,000 peso above, you are rich. You are poor when you are 12,000 below. You are upper middle class. Upper middle class. You are middle class but you are in upper middle class when your income is 114,000. Okay? So you are upper middle class. You are upper class once you reach below 190. And you are rich once you reach an income of 190,000. You see, we touched it. At least we became rich at least once. Okay? But since I was able, we were able to hit that mark, we know we can hit it again. Okay? So that's a, that's a good thing there. Once you know how to earn that money, then you can earn it again. As long as you do the same thing that you did. Okay? So, my hope and my prayer is that you will be rich in your country. Okay? What is the income level of a rich in your country? That should be your target. Okay? From poor to middle class to rich. So, let's go. We've stayed for a long time in the upper middle class. And we just I, just, I just want to be rich. I just want to try to be rich. Okay? And we experience it. So we just kept on investing it to other businesses. And now, this one will be, I will be teaching it to you. I will be sharing it to you. I want you to know the things that we have studied through doing. Okay? Because entrepreneurship is learning by doing. Okay? It is not about Theory, theory, theory. You, you analyze, you analyze, you analyze, and then you get paralyzed. Okay? That is not what this is about. Being an entrepreneur is being a person who executes. Every time he thinks new things, he executes. Okay, so you learn in the process. So you try, you try, and then you learn in the process. Oh, this is the one that I made mistake. Okay, I can make this improve. I can do this. I can avoid this. That is being an entrepreneur. You always execute. You know, we have tried so many business. Okay, I, we tried selling fish. It did not work. Our body, we are both slim and thin. So we cannot, we cannot do that kind of lifestyle. Our business is all in the cell phone. So we're not carrying heavy heavy machinery or something, okay? Heavy work cannot work for us, okay? So for my wife, so that she can focus on selling in the phone, we hired, we hired a nanny, we hired a, a helper. We, we get a helper. And I told, I told, he, I told my wife, if you do the work of a helper, and then that kind of work is worth 150 100 150 like $3 okay like $6 $300 like $6 for per day and you you gave up you gave up you gave up to $200 per day you gave up $200 per day because of that $6 work so i told her you need to learn to leverage okay you need to leverage your time. Even though you are the one who perfectly cleaned the Airbnb because she wants to clean the Airbnb. And I told her, no, 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 no. That kind of work, cleaning the Airbnb, we can pay somebody to do it. We can pay somebody to, to, to cook, to clean our house. 
just focus on selling because our daily target income is just little, $200, equivalent to 10,000 pesos in our country. That's our target. So don't give up your $200 target income with the $6 cleaning. Okay, we can always hire somebody to do the menial task. Okay, I follow the, I follow the principle of Socrates when he said, uh, maybe people will be offended with the view of Socrates, but he said, uh, slaves are essential for a country, for, for a country to progress. He said that one. Because he said, let the menial task be done by the slaves so that we, the philosophers, can think. Okay? Okay? So, in line to business, the same thing. If you can earn bigger, then why you do menial task? Don't do it. We have somebody to to wash our clothes. We have somebody to clean our place. We have somebody to cook for our food. Okay? So we have somebody who's watching our water refilling station. We are not watching it. Our focus is to earn this so that we can pay them. Okay? So you focus in it, you can pay them. You give livelihood to people. Okay? So, this is only introduction. I just want to share to you what kind of life we had. We have. And we will be having even more. Okay? Because we have stepped into this kind of world. By profession, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pastor. Okay? So, a pastor doesn't earn much. A pastor uh, gets a love gift. It's below minimum. It's not even a minimum salary. So, so it's not, it's not, when you, when you serve God, it's being a prophet. It's not profit, okay? No profit in ministry, okay? But since I want to provide for my wife, so I try to find ways to supply for my wife, okay? Because after our marriage, we encountered a problem that led me to be removed to a church and then that put us to a desperate position. That's why I tried and tried and tried to find a way and my wife cannot work. So, the number one motivation there is to give my wife a good future, a good life. Okay? Because we are newly married. And we are already suffering. <laughs> okay? So, that's our, that's our story. And I know you, will, you have your own stories as well. Okay? So... Let's jump to it.